This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, May 28th. I'm James Spann. Got some big tropical downpours across north and central Alabama today. Some flooding issues in a few spots, in fact. Uh, let's go in there and check things out. Uh, first off, some images coming from social media. This was the uh, water coming across Rocky Ridge Road in Hoover from a downpour about 2.45 this afternoon. And that was flooding along U.S. 31 near Patton Creek. That's around the Hoover Vestavia border. And uh, we see a lot of flash flooding in that particular spot. But uh, uh, it's been uh, an afternoon with scattered downpours. Satellite view, moist air all across the deep south. Winds aloft are light and variable. Storms not moving very much. That was a radar at uh, 2.12 this afternoon. At that point, those heavy downpours were just west of Birmingham. Uh, these will settle down later this evening. Off to the west, more flash flood watches. Parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. A tornado watch for parts of West Texas. There is an enhanced risk of severe weather in that area. The standard slight risk from the Rio Grande North. And around here, a marginal severe weather risk for about the southern half of Alabama. And let's not forget our friends up in the northeast U.S. A slight risk up there, including all of Maine and New Hampshire. Tomorrow, a slight risk around Lubbock and Amarillo, Texas. Otherwise, a marginal risk from Texas to the Great Lakes. And on day three, Saturday, the uh, northwestern part of the state in a marginal risk. Overall rain for the next five days. And again, you know, these graphics won't help a lot. Like some folks in Birmingham have picked up well over one inch of rain in the last hour. And this is suggesting one inch of rain for the next five days. But for some people, this will be the case. You know, these things are kind of hit and miss and scattered. But we stay in a soupy air mass for a while. All right, model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Big uh, upper high is on the upper Atlantic coast, troughing over the Great Plains. And the weather just not changing much. Uh, the sun should be out at times. And we'll see a few scattered showers and storms about. Probably not as many as today. Uh, this is the high-res NAM tomorrow at 4 o'clock, suggesting only widely scattered showers, but quite frankly, it looked like that for today. It's not uh, been particularly good with this uh, pattern. Uh, so we'll mention scattered showers and storms tomorrow, mainly tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Temperatures creeping up. The high should be in the mid-80s. And that's the formula, really, for the next seven days. There, there will be variations every day, but trying to identify them days in advance is hard to do because very small-scale features make a big difference, like temperatures aloft. This is Saturday. Partly sunny, scattered showers and storms possible, but they should be fairly widely spaced, and the better coverage probably over the northwestern part of the state. And uh, the, the NAM is suggesting we could see upper 80s on Saturday. And Sunday, soupy air, scattered showers and storms are possible, mid-80s. And that's going to be the story for next week. This is Monday. There's Tuesday and Wednesday. High should be in the mid-80s, partly sunny, scattered showers and storms each day. This is a week from today, Thursday, June 4th. Little upper feature is showing up uh, around the Sabine Pass west of the state. And again, we're, we've seen evidence of this broad troughing over the southeastern Gulf and the Florida Peninsula. Uh, some runs have suggested some tropical mischief there. We'll keep an eye on things. This is into hurricane season, begins June 1st on Monday. But again, just the overall pattern not changing much. And this is the end of the forecast on Sunday, June 7th. Again, uh, winds aloft are light, the storm track to the north. Maybe a few spotty showers. And again, evidence of maybe some weak tropical low on the Georgia coast at that point. Temperatures over the next 15 days. Highs in the 80s, lows 64 to 70. And the above average temperatures are most likely to be centered over the northeast U.S., the western U.S., with below average temperatures over Texas around here. Numbers should be very close to average values for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.